Now it's time to demonstrate to you how you could create your own components and reuse them inside of other components. At the moment, this component app.js does not use any other external to it components. There are no other import lines except this one. And if there are some redundant blocks of JSX code in one of the components, for example, if I replace h2 here with h1, like that, we will see here basically two very similar blocks of JSX code here and here. Both utilize h1 tags and both use some text in between. And if there are such redundant, let's say, blocks of code of JSX code, it makes sense to create custom component and reuse it whenever you want. Let me show you how to do that. Let's open up Explorer here and let's in the SRC folder create a new folder by clicking on this icon and let's give it name components like this. And inside of this components folder let's create a new file and let's call it large text like this. And let's give it extension .js. Please notice that I started its name with uppercase L. And it's a convention to use first uppercase letter when you are about to create any kind of React component inside of this particular file. So name will be large text.js. And now inside of this file, let's create a new React functional component. And let's use similar syntax. Let's define new variable and it will be large text variable and its value will be arrow function and let's export default it inside of this large text file and afterwards we will be able to reuse this large text component inside of other components for example of the js component so let's define new variable with help of const and let's give it name same as name of the component large text and actually, it's a convention to use such kind of variable names and basically here in the app.js file you see same approach. Name of the variable is app, same as name of the file app.js and the same variable is exported as default export from the file. Same approach we will use here. So, let's assign value to this variable and it will be arrow function, like that, without any parameters. And here in the function block, let's return JSX. Because React expects that you return JSX in every functional component. And let's return here h1, like that. And here type some text. And let's close h1 tag like that. And now underneath this function, let's export default it from this file. Export default large text. Notice that same as in any code editor, you could use tab in order to autocomplete different names. So, let's save changes in this large text.js file, and now we could try to use this large text component inside of other components, for example, up the JS. In order to be able to use it, you need to import it first. Import. Let's import large text from and here will be path to large text.js file we kept that we created separate folder components and the large text.js file is located inside of that folder that's why here we need to specify complete path to that file it will be dot current folder slash components notice that i see suggestion to add components here and after slash will be large text you don't need to add here extension of the file if it is a javascript file so simply large text like that. And now we could very easily use this large text component inside of the app component. For example, let's use it here underneath this h1 html tag. And for that you need simply type html like syntax. And here simply type name of the component you want to insert. And if you want you could use self-closing JSX tags same as you do with self-closing HTML tags like that. And now large text component was inserted to the app component. And here we see some text that comes from the large text component here. And now I am able very easily reuse this particular component multiple times. For example, I could copy this line, paste it here again again and I see multiple some text here on the web page. 
that's the beauty of components. You could very easily reuse them multiple times in different places, even in different other components. So, at the moment this large text component is static, it means that it always returns same JSX with some text inside of the H1 tag. And of course, in the real world React applications, you'll almost never meet such kind of static components that always return same JSX code like in this example. And that's why next let me talk about component properties, or shortly props. Before doing that, let me remove those redundant large text components that are included in the app component. And also let me remove those two lines like that and I don't need this text to variable anymore. Let me remove it as well. So, now there is only one variable text, there is button HTML tag and there is large text component here in the app component. 